I became a van dweller because I got a divorce. And uh, where I was living, I could not live on the amount of money I made. I used to drive to and from work every single day and drive past this old beat up contractor's box van. And one day I looked at it and thought, I could live in that box van. So I pulled in, it was $1,200, and it ran good. It was just so ugly, the owner was ashamed of it. I bought it, moved in it that night. First night I threw down a, a backpacker's pad and slept in it and I was going through the divorce and I, I literally cried myself to sleep that first night and more than one night after that. And just, you know, here I hit bottom. I lived in that van for six more years in Anchorage, Alaska. And then a very strange thing happened. As I solved all the problems, where do I sleep? How do I stay warm? Uh, how do I cook? Uh, how do I go to the bathroom? How do I shower? Uh, as I solved all those problems, I started to love it. I, I, I fell profoundly in love with the freedom that came with living in a van. And at the first of every month, I didn't pay a rent. I didn't pay a landlord. I didn't pay $500, $1,000, $1,500 a month for rent. I paid myself, and that money went in my pocket. I started my website in 2005. I wanted to tell people there was a better way to live. And so I started my website, CheaparVLiving.com, to tell people, here is an alternative way of life that's far better for mo many of us than what you're living now. And in 2008, when the economy collapsed, I had already started the website and it just exploded. I got uh, literally thousands of emails and comments. Uh, people have been evicted from their homes and were coming to me. What do I do now? I have to move into my car and I don't know how. how can you help me? So I started the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous as a boot camp, a first step into a much better way of life. What we do here is we have seminars and things that I think will help people who are just starting out. We'll have a class on boondocking, how to find a place where you can camp for free. We're going to have a class on going to Algodones, Mexico and getting very inexpensive but high quality dental and prescription drugs. One trip into Mexico You'll walk out with a new crown in your mouth that you got super cheap. You'll walk out with a new pair of glasses, and you'll walk out with at least a three-month supply of your prescription meds. So it's, it's how to live very cheaply and yet live a high-quality life. People come, they learn, they make friends, they make connections. If they have need, their needs are met. If they have abilities, they share their abilities. It's all about connection and human compassion and care. Something happened to me when I decided to live in nature. To be able to come out and sit and watch the stars or watch the moon or watch a hummingbird and have silence in my head and a peace of mind and heart that doesn't have to rush off to the next thing. And then to, and that's amazing. But beyond that, I have developed an empathy that I never could have thought I was capable of. I was just an average guy. And you cut me off in traffic and I was going to curse you and chase you down and beat you up. Uh, and today, when there's too much noise, I still get angry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, not going to deny it. Uh, but when I can attract 500 people in the desert and a guy comes up to me and he, I've had people, men and women, both come up to me and shake my hand and cry and say, you've changed my life. And uh, so that's a pretty wonderful thing that's happened to me since I've become a van dweller.